Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, Danny from Inglorious Fishing. It's currently a Tuesday afternoon and if you've seen the last fishing video, you would have seen that we hooked into a two-banded sea bream and a gilt head bream. So, gilt head bream's rather special, but that two-banded sea bream, I think I'm only the second person in the Channel Islands ever to catch one, I think. So don't quote me on that, I know Shane Hoxter's got the record, but my fish would have beaten it, but it was fell hooked. I didn't realise until I seen the video back, but uh, it was still great to catch. Hopefully we're going to get one tonight. But as we're always, we've got Mr. Inshaw with us again tonight. And uh, as you can see, I'm just getting the rod set up, guys. Now, we've come back down here because we want some more gilts and we want some more two-banded sea bream. So if I caught a two-banded sea bream here, I'm hoping I've released it and I can catch it properly today with a hook in its mouth. We've got the rods all ready to go. I'll give you a run-through of my rods and stuff before I chuck them out, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button also as you come in and make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss one of these fishing adventures. So I'm going to show you the rods and the setups. We'll get straight to it and get out there and hopefully we get a few fish. Let's get to it. So everyone, the rod of choice, we're using the Tronic Pro Gorilla Rods. Uh, I don't have lots of rods. I use, these are my shore rods for everything basically, except spinning and float fishing. But all my bottom fishing I do with these rods, they're a four to seven ounce rod. Uh, they're 13 foot. There you go guys, 13 foot, four to seven ounce surf rods. Uh, I don't rate them really guys, I wouldn't tell, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, nobody if I was you, buy them because I've had nothing but problems with them. So I'm going to be getting some new rods soon. But um, the Pen Fathoms, 2s, the SDs. Uh, the 15 SDs, fantastic reels guys, uh, I wouldn't, I can't say anything bad about these reels, they are absolutely amazing, get what you get for your money and it's that simple, uh, I wouldn't get anything else, not multiplier wise, they're absolutely great, um, they both got 25 pound mono on and both setups are running ledgers, so it's just consists of a bead, zip slider to a bead, then to a swivel, then a two to three foot trace and we've got ragworm, so we've got ragworm on a 1-0 hook, and I've also got a big one there with a size 4 hook and that's in case that there's a big bass or something like that guys using 6 ounce leads so we're going to bang these out and hopefully we can get a few fish First rod's out Let's get these fish Come on, fish on I think that yeah, you had that drag thing set. I thought it was, it was quite a way screaming. down, mate. Yeah. It was quite a good bite, that guys. It was a nice pullover, really good pullover. I hope I haven't caught my other line because that one seems to be going. A bit slack as well, isn't it? Oh, a bit something. Come on. Are you sure? Well, yeah, I wouldn't have thought it'd be pulling, eh? Yeah, you've gone round something and you're pulling this one. Oh, it's snap. Yeah, you might... You might find if you reel this one and you might keep your gear. So, guys, check that out for a fish. Oh, Inshore was just uh, fishing on the bottom there. The old rod went right over. Lovely bass there. Probably, I don't know how much in centimetres. It's probably about 43, 44, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, it's a nice fish, that, guys. Check the eyes out on it. Beautiful big belly bass. Big mouth on him. Took it right down. They look evil, those bass. Check that eye out, guys. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely what a beautiful cup. fish that is. Anyway, we've got the rods out. I've had a few bites. Hopefully, we all cop on something. So, everyone, we've moved fishing spots. Check that out. That's St. Sampson's Harbour there. We've decided to come here along the breakwater and we're going to fish off here, guys. Fantastic. It's all sand out here. Hopefully we get a few flatfish. Johnny's still fishing down there where we were. He'll come up in a bit. And yeah, guys fishing opposite us. Hopefully get a few fish. That's what we're after, some decent fish. And hopefully coming to this venue, it's going to help us. So we're going to get these rods out and uh, let's get some. He's on. Big, right? I didn't know something there. Oh, look at that, guys! Nice little coochers bream. Fantastic. Lovely coochers there, guys. I'll give you a quick show of them. Oh, they're fast moving bream. Beautiful looking bream. Ah, they got spines. She's spining me with, guys. I'll just get them again. There we go. 
Beautiful. Check that dorsal fin with the red on top. Blue across the body here. Blue band across the nose. They're a fantastic fish. Check that out. That is a lovely looking fish. But we're going to get them back and hopefully we get one five times bigger than that. My line's tangled. I'll get a big rocky look. That's a nice size rockfish that, Dan. Beautiful colours. Look at the colours on those buddies. I was just getting out my snag straight down the rocks there and it just took my bait. Nightmare. Now I've got to cast this out to the snag. Well, guys, same thing's happened again. I was in the snag. This one's a lot bigger. Oh, well, that's because it's weed on it, but it's still a big fish. This is better. Please don't snap. That's a that one. is a monster. That's a better one, Jace. Nice fish. Check that out for a fish, guys. That's about three, three and a half pound rockfish, that. That's a beauty. Let's get it off the hook and give you a better show. My other rod's going as well now. Slack line. Slack line. We are going to switch this thing off and then it's going to kick off, watch. It's a nice fish. So guys, beautiful wrasse there we just had. Uh, we've come to this new location. Oh, I'll get bites on the other rod, guys. Come to this new location and uh, seem to just be getting a lot of wrasse. So we tried casting it out a bit further now. Unfortunately, he's bleeding. We cast it out a bit further. We're going to keep this one for pot bait. Cast it out a bit further and hopefully you're getting some flatties or gilt heads, bass, coochies, two banded sea bream, that's what we're after. So yeah, let's get to it. So I don't know if we got this on record, but check this out for a fish, guys. Three and a half, three to three and a half pound wrasse there. Took my ragworm like nothing, but unfortunately it took the hook. So we're going to be using it for pot bait, guys. We won't let anything go to waste. I've got both rods out. I'm hoping for another two-banded sea bream, but uh, we can only hope. But we've got to have the rods out there, and they're out there. So hopefully we get one of these fine fish, guys. You beauty. So I'll just give you a show of some of these ragworm. These are what we dug earlier, me and Jason. Went down the beach and dug them. It's quite hard digging, to be fair, but certainly en enough just for me, for my session. So that's great. Jason, you in? Yeah, for sure. Oh, Jason's into a fish as well. Fantastic. <clears throat> Live action as I'm showing you the bait. It's a rustler. Oh well, guys, look at that. Another nice rust there. Same size as what I had before, I'd probably say. But yeah, nonetheless, crack a little fish. Beauty, mate, nice beauty. One. Small. Small, is it? Yeah. They look well. Johnny's got a fish on, guys. Rass. Beautiful looking wrasse. Not bad little wrasse there at all, Johnny. Not sure what it is. It's another wrasse. Nice wrasse there, look. This is wrasse sicky, this fish. I think it looks like the same one I caught earlier. Got the guys, Dan's possible fish arm. Mm. He, he had bites, he's not it sure might if it's, be. Might be something swimming oh, there in. There is something there. Oh, yeah, it's working up now. As you can see, the old weather's taking a bit of a turn. Yeah. A bit, a bit, a bit grey over there now. This was right out there on the sand, so. Yeah, hopefully. It it's ain't not fighting like a bream, though. No. Got some weight. Look, some yeah. weight there. Might be a nice cooch or something. Might have some weed around it or something. Oh, that's silver. It's, it ain't, it ain't. it's a bream. This is a foul up bream. Small black bream. There we go, guys, look at that. Lovely little black bream Something there. about me and fell hook and bream, eh? <laughs> yeah. Fish on again. Not very big fish, not very big fish at all. Well, definitely another fish. Out in the deep as well again, eh? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting bites there. Johnny, oh, yeah. do you want to take over here, mate? <laughs> Johnny's going to get the camera, guys. Not oh, fish. I'm getting bites as well. You're getting bites, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. That's right. 
We want a two-banded bream, but I doubt it. But that's what we want. It's definitely a bream on this, by the way it's going. Oh, it's a small cooches, I think. Yeah. Cooches bream. Cooches? No, just a black bream. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that was just black. a beautiful little black bream. So yeah, guys. We're gonna get this off the hook and let Johnny get to his rod. So a fantastic little location here. Uh, we've never fished here before. It's called the Reclamation. And yeah, giving it a good go here. And uh, we've had a few fish here. A few wrasse, not really what we want. We want more of a more species fish like red mullet, cooches, uh, bream, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, I've got a boat coming in now. I might have my lines taken out, guys. So I'm a bit worried about this. So I'll bring you back if we get any more fish. Johnny's in again. Get another wrasse. Can't believe they're still feeding so dark. There it comes. You beauty, Johnny. Lovely, fine little wrasse there. Fantastic. So, lights feeding fast, and we just had ourselves another lovely, hooked in the bottom of the lip, little black bream there. Fantastic. Not the two banded sea bream that we want. Or the gilt head but still a number another member of the bream species and these are the most common of the beam bream species throughout the uk and that is the black bream but uh the coochie sea bream is certainly uh making a name for itself in the uk waters and i certainly know that they get some big ones on the south coast of cornwall so uh yeah hopefully we get a few more species of these bream from the med fantastic we're going to be keeping in pot bait though Oh guys, Jason just had a big rash there and I was trying to find his camera and I can only find mine. You beauty, we're still getting them in the dark. So guys, Jason's on. Fish on guys. Oh, there it comes. Oh, my oom's on. My oom's oh yeah, you're on. over mine, yeah. Don't worry about that, Jace. Straight over. No, you ready? Now. You got it. Yeah, there we go guys, second little pout. Look at that, as soon as the darkness has turned up, it's starting to get plagued by a few pouts, so... Hopefully, guys, we can get ourselves a nice, decent sized pout. That's your second one, isn't it? Second one yet. Second Beauty. cast with the old darkness and the second pout. We've had lots of fish. Happy days. So, no quicker than Jason had his pout, my rod was going off and we've hooked into a lovely pout there. A uh, little bit small, we're going to get the hook out and we'll let him go back. But uh, great to see another species, that's for sure. We've had lots of wrasse, lots of bream, cooches bream, you name it. Probably enjoyable fishing session. I absolutely love it. So, yeah. Getting right back into the shore fishing I am now. So great. Let's get this back. Fish on. Not a very big fish if it is. It's tiny. Small pelt. No, no, no weight here, Jace. It's very there we go. What? A bit more weight now? Yeah, it's not it's not a big fish, that's for sure. Definitely not a big fish. He's still on that is. Yeah, there's something there. It's small, very small. Yeah. Right. Could be a little red. It doesn't feel like a red mullet. It feels like a little bream. Or a pout. Not very big fight. It's not big bream. Oh, it is a bream. It's a bream, yeah. That's not a bad size bream. No, no. Not a bream. Lovely little black bream there, guys. Another one bites the dust. Let's get it off the hook. Case is on again. Nice little bream here. Oh no, that's another pout. Look at that. So the darkness has just turned up, like I said before, and we had the last pout. And as soon as the darkness has come, look at that, guys. We're hitting the pout like nothing now. Dan's had a couple of pout now. I've had what, like, my third one now, I think, guys. So yeah, hopefully we get some bigger stuff. All right, let's get this off the hook and get back down. So another fish there. Lovely black bream again, they're starting to come up thick and fast, the black bream and the pelt now. Night fish, they absolutely love it. You catch them in the day as well, but fantastic looking fish, guys. Look at that. What a beauty. So we're going to be keeping this one, and uh, we've got the rods back out, and hopefully we can get a few more. That was a good take for that. 
I don't know if it'll caught up in Johnny or not, but it's a bream, mate. I don't know what bream, but it's a bream. It's a black. Black bream, guys, yeah. That's my first black bream tonight. Happy with that. Lovely little fish. So another little pelt there. Not the target species that we want, but these are a kraken turbot bait, guys. So I'm going to be keeping a few of these small ones just for the turbot. And when we go drifting on the sandbanks, we can put them a flappered pelt because the turbots absolutely love it. Big turbot, especially. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get them in the pocket. Won't be staying much longer. Hopefully, we get a few more fish, though. Let's get it. So, Jason was just bringing up his rod there. And check that out, guys. Fantastic little pollock. He's just had that on the bottom on the ragworm. Uh, it had a big leech on him. But Jason's just taking it off of his head just to uh, try and relieve him of any discomfort. But, yeah, fantastic. That's going straight in Jason's bag. So the rods are out. We're going to give it another 10 minutes. It's been a thoroughly enjoyable evening with Inshore and Johnny 500. But unfortunately, we're just getting pelt now. So don't want us to just stand here catching pelt. So we'll give it 10 minutes, see what we can get. And then if not, we're going to start making our way home. Well, guys, that's another session from me, Inshore and Johnny 500. Thoroughly enjoyable session. We started off down here where our vans are. Then we moved further along to the reclamation. Inshore had that lovely bass of about three pounds. We have lots of cooches bream, lots of black bream, lots of wrasse. We also had a giant wrasse over there that went like hell. So uh, we found a new location if we want to catch some wrasse for pot bait. And yeah, all in all, a thoroughly enjoyable session. No red mullet, no gilthead bream, and no two-banded sea bream like we we're after. But hey -oh, you can't get them all the time, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you do like this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to get all the latest notifications and make sure you hit that like button and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Catch you on the next one. It's Danny from Inglorious. We'll see you next time. See you later.